computer and here we go so we're now recording it is uh uh it is now uh, uh it is week 11 of um camp for construction fall 2021 semester at Monroe Community College and we are going to be covering the custom garage project which we're going to work on right now we're going to talk about that and how to put it together and we're going to do the uh it's a two-week project so we'll just do the basics for tonight so let's talk about what we're going to do here. First of all, when we talk about um, anything in Revit, we took a look before a little earlier. We did a preview of some of the cool stuff you can do with rendering and so forth. But we're going to go back over to here and we're going to go back um, to Blackboard. And as we go to Blackboard, what we're going to do, <clears throat> we're going to scroll down to this present week, which is down here, Custom Garage Plans, Weeks 11 and 12. Then we go here and we have some content here. We got the Custom Garage Project, which is where you upload it. And then I got a template here. So I'm going to download the template as we always do. So I download the template and then I go back over to here and I'm going to go take a look at what's called the construction documents. Okay. So here's the construction documents. Now I'd recommend that you print these because it's going to be a whole lot easier to deal with them. But what you got right here is a set of construction documents that actually show how to build this construction, this uh, custom garage. So when you got a set of construction documents, we are picking up on the same theme that we used before, which is when you're working and you're gonna be building something, you have to provide several different views. And in this case, I've got this 3D view and I got this title sheet, but then after that, I've got these views. I've got this view right here, which is the first floor. So I got the first floor, I've got some dimensions and so forth that are all together on this right here. So I have that and I have some information here. So whenever you're working in Revit, this is one of the things that you're going to want to um, actually really uh, kind of pay attention to. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna download this. I'm gonna download it. And I'm going to save it. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to open it up. Okay, so it's going to open this up. Okay, this might be, be a little bit easier for you guys to see. And uh, we'll here, it will be a little bit larger. So we're going to Custom Garage, and I've actually got a list of sheets here. And then um, going down here, what I've got is I've got a title block, and then I've actually got the basic information here. Now, the basic information here that I have uh, shows me the dimensions that I have for my doors and so forth. So I have all this in place. And um, I've got that happening. So as we get into this right now, I've got this basic stuff and I've got a few things that are happening right here. Now I'm gonna point out a couple of things that I added in here just to kind of make it interesting. I've got a double door here. I've got a single swing door right here. I've also got over here uh, a cement, uh, pour, a concrete port cap. I've got a, I've got a, um, I've got a, a window over here. I've got a, um, a sliding overhead door here, two overhead sliding doors right there. I've got some attic stairs. Then I also have over here, and let me go ahead and give you the highlighter. This might help a little bit here, see a little better. All right, over here, you've actually got these. Anyone know what these, these indicate right here? Outlets. Electrical? Yeah, they're electrical receptacles is what they are. So those receptacles right there are actually what we put in there. So we're going to work on this today. And so we have all this in place, and we just have some dimensions here. So what we're going to do right here, I'm going to show you how we begin to draw this. Okay, uh, so that's going to be the first floor. Now, the second floor, this is the second floor. I actually modified this to make it a little bit simpler for you guys, but this actually just has a floor right here. So essentially, it's great space up here that you would actually use for storage or a workshop or whatever else you might want to have here. And then uh, going down as we go further here, we then have some elevations. Now, the elevations here give us this kind of information. If I can get this to move, can I get, yeah, I can move that. I'm going to back this up a little bit. So I got this. This is actually this right here. And you've got this nice cedar shake siding on these. And you've got the different level markers that are indicated right here. So you have all that going on right there. And then moving on through here, you've got a cement cap right here. And then you've actually got a detail here. You've got a, uh, you've got actually what we would actually call a, um, uh, this is actually what we would refer to as a detail. Uh, it's actually 2D. That's something we're going to get to. It's actually derived from the Revit drawing, but you actually use other details to put to, to complete this. And then we actually have a door and a window schedule, you know, basic things right here. So we have this going on. Okay, so when you get into this right here, how do we start this? Well, you start with the template. That's what you'd always do. So going over to here, I'm gonna close out of this one. So I'll close out of this and I'll close that. And I have saved that, yes, I have. And then what I'm going to do is I'm gonna go over here and I've actually got a couple things here. I've got the custom, let's see here, custom master plan. Yeah, this is the one I wanna use right now. So I'll open this up. Now, when I open this up right here, I'm going to go ahead and start with my level one, because that's typically where we want to start. Now, as I take a look at this right now, I've got these basic dimensions. 
And what I want to do is I want to take a look at this because I've got a few things happening and I want to draw my project in, uh, in, in, so it looks like this right here. So what I want to show you is I zoom into these walls right here. Take a look at the walls. You can actually see there are several lines here. Now, the reason I can see these lines is down here under the view control, I've actually got the detail level set to fine. You'll notice I got scale down here. I got the detail level. This is the 3D view. This is for 2D. And if I click on this right here, I can make it to course. Watch what happens to the walls when I make it coarse. When I go to course, it just gives me a two line type of representation. Now, to actually see these as thicker lines, I can click on this and I turn this off. It gives me thick lines. So the, these couple of tools here right here are really very, very useful. So I can thin my lines or leave them thick. And then going down here, I can actually get more detail by going here and choosing fine. When I go there, I get this kind of a look right there. And then I could also thin them out as I do this. So this is how we're able to control how much detail we're seeing right there. And you'll notice here, as I take a look at these walls, that there's actually um, lines around the exterior. They represent that there's actually sheathing and siding on the exterior of the building right there. So you have that going out right there. And if I go to my 3D view right here, I can see that I've got this. And this is what this looks like. And I can actually take it and rotate it around and move it around. You actually see inside there and see that. So it's actually pretty, pretty interesting. So what we're going to do here, we're going to use this as our uh, as our reference. And what I'm going to do over here is I am going to do this. I'm going to, uh, so I don't get this confused. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to click on this level one right here. And I'm going to call it floor one, just, just for giggles. So I don't get it confused. Floor one. And yes, I will do that. Then I go over here and do the same thing. I make this floor two, just so that I don't mistake the two, because I'm going to be doing some editing now, and uh, not editing, but going back and forth between you. And this will keep it clear which is which. So I got that, and yes, I got that floor one to floor two. Now I'm going to start a new project. So to do this, we go to file, and actually, let's just go here. Up here, I'm going to go to the home tab. So go to the home tab and back out to here. I'm going to click on new. So I click on new now. <laughs> this is where if you just double click on a template, it'll bring you right in, but then you're going to have to save that template as a project. So instead of doing that, I click on browse. What are we going to browse for? I'm going to browse out to my downloads and I'm going to look for my, and I save my downloads right here. And I want this, the custom garage plan master. So I'll go here and I'll go ahead and click on, okay. So I start this. And when I start this up, there is nothing in there. Now, one thing I will show you is we're going to draw this right now. I'm going to go up here and go to my walls, go to my wall architectural right here. And as I go to my wall architectural, I got my basic wall right here. This is my basic garage wall. I've got that right there. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to go over here and I need to know, need to, I need to know how large these walls are. Now, uh, over here, I gave you an overall um, dimension on this side. It's 24 feet. But then on this side, I didn't give it to you. I was kind of naughty. I probably... Was, I just kind of left it to you, but I'm going to throw one in there right now just so you guys can uh, see what I'm working with here. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to uh, pick a point here. Let me do that. All right. No, it's not. So I'm going to pick here. All right. Yeah, I got it. I'm going to go over here, go right, right to the end. All right. All right. And where did it go? Did it go? It didn't go. It didn't go did it. Okay. So I'm going to try this. Yeah, I'll try it again. Yeah, it's 30 feet. So it's 24 feet by 30 feet. So it's a 24 feet by 30 foot rectangle. So I'll go here to level one and I can start to draw that. So I'll go to my architecture tab. And before I get into this, I, I will show you something just so you guys can see it. If I go to my elevation views right here, you'll notice I've already got these secure. They're already out there. So if I go to east, for instance, it tells me right now this is where my, my views are at. I got a footing set at negative two feet. Level one is right here and level two is nine feet up. So I have those things going on right here. So the levels have already been set up and I'm going to go to level one and I'm going to go to my walls and uh, okay, if I can do that. Okay. And I got basic wall garage right here. Now watch this. I'm going to do this. Now we said, I'm just going to draw a rectangle. We talked about doing this. So if I just go ahead and do this and knock this out, boom, boom, done. All right. Now we talked about the size. We said that it was 24 by 30. So this is going to be 30. So I just type in 30. Again, I'm just using temporary dimensions. And it automatically extends that view out to 30. Now, one thing it did right there is it didn't go to my center line, did it? No, it did not. So that's a problem. So I'm going to change this to be my finish, uh, my wall center line, which is what it actually should be. So I'll click on this again. And when I click on this again, I'll go ahead and make this one uh, 
Yeah, I want to make that 30 feet. Now, you'll notice it right here. It's not giving me what I want right here because let me just kind of make this clear what I'm doing right here. So if I go to here, you'll notice where this dimension, this is a dimension to the outside. It's actually going to the outside of the structure. You have to pay attention to those right there. So when you dimension, you got to make sure that you're comparing apples to apples and oranges to oranges. So I go back to here and let's go try this again. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this wall and uh, right there, it's doing this. Now, because it's measuring to the inside, I can actually change the witness line by, see it says move witness line here. I'll go ahead and click on that. And it, and it goes to the center line. I click it again. It goes to the outside, which is what I want. So I do the same thing for this side. And I just clicking on this little bubble right here. I click on it once, I click on it again. And now I've got that right there. Now at this point, it's larger than I need it to be. So I change it back to 30. That's 30 feet outside to outside. And that's how it should be. So we got that. Now I click on this wall. I have the same condition I want to meet over here. So this one's actually going to the outside. This one is not. So I click on this bubble once, twice. I can also drag it. I usually like click on it and drag it uh, until it goes where I want it to go. You can do that too. And sometimes it doesn't work so hot, but you can do that. Not you. Doesn't look at that, does it? Okay, maybe. maybe. No, I don't. Let's forget that. Okay, so we're back to here. Okay, so that's okay. So it looks like I changed that. So we went to 30. All right, and we go back over to um, this. All right, I got two different dimensions there. And so I want to go to the outside on this one. Somehow that's not doing what I wanted it to. Um, that's again, I'm not sure where those are right there. Okay, let's do this. We'll just go ahead and put them both out there. And that's gonna be 24. So that's 24. So we got that. So it's 24 there. And uh, so I got that going on. So I've got all these together. Let's see what we're looking at. We're going to 3D. How does it look? Oh, oh wrong one. So back to this one. And I want to go to this one, see how this one looks in 3D. So we're there. Okay, now that's what that looks like. Now, um, what's wrong with this right here? The exterior is on the inside. The exterior is on the inside. Now, this happens sometimes. Okay, so I did that deliberately. Let me show you how to fix it. So you go into this. And when you have this right here, Rabbit's quite intelligent. You can see that the, the siding is on the inside. So if I do this, if I click on this, I can actually do this and I could actually um, right click and I can go to change walls orientation. And when I do that, it flips the wall the other way. And I'll do this on each of them. Uh, change walls orientation like that. And uh, this happens sometimes. It's just the way it is. And so you go to change walls orientation. What it does there is it actually reverses the uh, layers of the wall. And I'll go here, change walls orientation now. Okay, let's check it and make sure that it's where it should be still. And so now it's 23 foot one. So now I got change again. So I'll make it 24 on this right there. And I'll click on this one and make sure it's 30. And it's, uh, I gotta make sure it goes the outside first. The outside. And this goes the outside. And does that, I'll make that 30. So I've got that. So it's 30 by 24. So I have that going out right there. And I'm going to go ahead and move this over like that. Okay, so we pick up that too. Okay, so we'll do something like this. Okay. Oh, by the way, these are elevation markers. These things right here, those are what control what you're looking at from the other side. So anyway, that's what we have going on there. And so uh, that's what's happening there. Let's see that, uh, okay. So we got that going on right there. Thin the lines, okay, we like that. Okay, so we got a basic start right there. If I take a look at this now in 3D, let's see what we got here. And we take a look at that, now it looks better. So now I've got this and that is how that looks. And so we're good to go. We got a basic start, starting point. Back over to here. Now what I want to do here is I want to begin to put this other information in here. Now, I've got a few things that I want to work with. I, I've got my 30 foot dimension and my 24 dimension, 24 foot dimension there. And then what I got here is I got this door. So we'll, we'll work with this door first of all. It's a five foot door. Okay, I want to number it. I want it to be numbered one. 
and from the edge of the building to the edge of the inside of the door, it's four feet. So that's what I'm going to use. It's four feet using that right there. So go to your level one. And now that I'm here, I'm going to go over to my door. And when I go to the door, I just happen to have this door double glass, which is this right here. I'm going to go ahead and take this and I'll drop it right there. And that's pretty much, I think, what that view is supposed to look like. And it's, it's supposed to go in, but that's okay. We can fix it. We'll click there. I'll go ahead and flip it this way. And before I go any further, I'm going to change the number on this. And I'll lay back up. I'm going to put this on board. Since, okay, so I'm going to go back to here. And I'm going to make that one number one. So I click on number one, it does that. Okay, you just want to make sure you start with number one. Now, at this point, I got this in here and I click on here. How do I get it to be properly positioned? Well, I click here to change the temporary um, dimensions. And my uh, distance here is supposed to be four feet. So I type in four, and now it's exactly four feet away. Now, here's a cool thing. When you get a dimension and it's perfect, you would do this. You'd click on this dimension right here and it makes it permanent. So I click there and it makes it permanent and it makes it black. So that's that's a very good thing. And now what I don't want to do is, uh, if you want to put it on the dimensions, you want to use a line, the line tool, which is right up here. So I'll click here and I'll go from here over to here. And that's five feet. So this is building out really nicely. Okay, right at that. Now, just to get a confirmation this is working out correctly, it shows me that's right here. And I can take it along and do this. So that's giving me great results. So, so far, so good. So I got that one in place. Now I've got another door over here to the right. And this door over here, what kind of door is it? Well, it's door number two. It is half glass door, 36 by 80. Half glass door, 36 by 80. Okay, and this is four feet away. Okay, so let's go ahead and work on that one. So go ahead and place this one. So I'd go over here to my doors again. And let's see what we got available. So I'll go here and I got this half glass door right here. So I'll go here. Now I'll go ahead and pull this over here and it goes somewhere right along like that. And then as I did before, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to um, use my, uh, use my um, temporary dimensions to place it. And the location it is from the side is going to be four feet. So I've been four, hit enter. So that's good. Now at this point, I can click on this, makes it permanent, and then that's good. And then I would, what I'd want to do then is I'd want to line this up. So I click on this and I would want to, I'd go ahead and want to kind of pull it up. Yeah, go ahead and this. And it should be up a little bit higher. This whole texture should be like this. So we'll get to that. And then these right here, I want to do the same thing. So I want to pull these up. Now notice this, see what that does right there? When I start to pull it up, it says, hey, do you want to align these? Well, yes, you do. So as soon as you see that blue line, that uh, blue dashed line, you go ahead and, and use it. So we've got that. So we're looking pretty good here. Now I'm going to go back over to here. I'm going to put in another, uh, use this again, the align dimension tool here to here. Go to there and uh, there we go, we got that. So at this point, this is all looking pretty good. And then I just wanna put in one dimension in between these. So go here and we go from um, this edge to this edge and we got 14 feet, beautiful. Okay, so we got that and I'm gonna save it. So we're gonna save as, file, save as, project. I'm gonna go ahead and call this one um, custom garage. So we got that. Okay, so we got that there. Now over here on the right hand side, what do we have going on there? Well, if we take a look at this right here, what we have going on here is we have two different doors here. I've actually got this. What kind of door is it? It's a door garage embossed panel 108 by 84 is what it is. So that's got to go in here. And from this, this edge, you see it's this inside track. It's going from the inside track. The dimension's going from the inside track. Can you see that? It's the inside track, not the outside, this, this dash blue line. To the outside of the building is two feet. So that's what I want to use. That's what I want to go ahead and do. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to back out here. I'm going to put in another door. So go to here. And I want to take a look at my uh, list of doors. And I've got this uh, door garage and boss panel 108 by 84. So I'll tap it. I'll bring it out here. I'll just go ahead and drop it somewhere right around there. Okay, so I've got that now. Now this over here that's giving me this this hassle right here. So I'm going to do two things. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to uh, go to click on this, and I'm going to click on this. Okay, so it does that. Okay, now at this point I want this to go over to the. Oh no, that went too far. <laughs> Didn't do what I want to do. So I just have to click and drag this one. 
So this one's got to go to the inside line right there. Okay, see that? That's the inside line. Inside, see that? Inside line. When I say inside, it's it's not the outside. <laughs> All right. Uh, so there we go. Okay, so I've got that. So uh, let me do that again. I'll go ahead and place that one more time. So I've got this. Now, what should that dimension be? Okay, looks like we've got two dimensions going on here. Not exactly what I want. So if, if it doesn't give you what you want, oh, it's going in the wrong direction right now. That's why. All right, so I got to flip it this way. So I want the garage to go that way. That's how I want it to go. So it's going that way right now, and we're good to go. I'm not getting the dimension that I want, but that's okay. I can force it by going here and saying, you know what? I want an aligned dimension, and I want to go from this line here. So I click on it. If it's not going, it's showing you that line, you hit your tab key, and your tab key will give you different choices. So I'm going to click there, and I want to go from here to the outside of the building right there, and I'll pull it out. Now that's one foot six and a half, and that's not what I want. So uh, what I want to do is I want to go ahead, I'll change that, and I'll put a temporary dimension on that. So uh, to do this, I'll click on this again, and that gives me that there. Now at this point, it's giving me this, and I'm gonna go ahead and take this and pull it back so that it's gonna give you this kind of a thing. So I've got that. So you can pull these, these around, okay? And that's a big part of what you're gonna be doing here. So if I put two for two feet, and that is now perfectly placed. You'll notice it's the inside dimension. It's two feet. We're good to go. And then when you like it, you click on this little icon here and it makes it permanent. Does that. And we'll go ahead and just pull this one back over a little bit. All right. Any questions about this? I know I did a couple things there. Any questions about that at all? Okay. I'll assume that it's very clear. <laughs> now, at that point, I can do another one over on the opposite side. Uh, so to do that, I could place it or I could mirror it. We've talked about using the mirror command. I could use the mirror command or I could place it. Since I showed you how to place, I'll show you how to use the mirror command. So I click on this right now. The mirror command is just like you would do in AutoCAD. Well, it, it's quite similar, I should say. So the mirror command, you got one right here, which is pick an axis or you can draw an axis right here. So I'm going to use, um, I think I can use pick an axis here. So I'll go here. And as far as my axis goes, I want it to be uh come on you is it oh it's not let me do that so what i'll do instead i'll use this one and i'll use i'll draw an axis okay there that's i want to go right here so i'll click right there as my axis point i'll go ahead and pull it down to here i'll click there when i do that but a boom but a bing there it is okay so it came out real nicely now let's see if i can uh, let's see if i can dimension that um and of course you could place it i'm just showing you another way to do things just trying to you know give you an idea as far as how this works it's over here from the outside, boom, there we are. So I got that. So I got that, and I'll go ahead and drop it there. There we have it. Okay, so I've got that. Now, to put these other dimensions here, I'll go ahead and uh, use this again. And where I want to go now is I want to go from inside dimension to inside dimension. So I'll go from here over to here, inside to inside. When I do that, it is nine feet, which is what it should be. Now I'll go ahead and do it again over here, inside to inside, which will go from here over to here. And that goes like that. I'll do that. And then I'll put in one more dimension, which is going from, from uh, one more dimension going from uh, Try that again. Go from here. Yep, here. There, you pull it up, and there we have that. So that is how you put that string of dimensions down. Let's let's see how this is looking now. So we go here and uh ooh, pretty nice. So what you're seeing right here is you got the doors here. Okay, so you got the door here, and now uh, that's in place. And you actually have the track going over the top of the door. That's that should be how it looks. And if I go here and if I um if I were to go ahead and take a look at this in 3D, I don't have uh, this one. Um, if I go here, I can go to this one in 3D. I'll take a look at this. I could go ahead and do this. Let's see if it looks roughly the same. So I'll hide the roof right now. I'll click on the roof and I'll go hide and view uh, this element right there. So I'll hide, I'll hide this too. Hide, hide and view this element. So I'll do that. When I do that, it gives me this kind of view. I could actually hide this view too, I guess. Hide this view is this element like that okay so we got that now you see this actually shows you the uh 
track going going over there so it looks like that but that's how it should look so that's how those look right there and you're able to kind of like take this apart and then what i can do if i want to turn everything back on that i just turned off i could go out here and i could use this tool right here down here you'll see this light bulb right here next to the set of glass and i can click on that and this is reveal hidden elements so i click on there and this magenta thing comes up and the, the hidden elements are are this one right here and i'll go ahead and so is the floor anyway um i'll go ahead and go here and I'll kill it. Let me do this. Let me see if I let me grab the floor. I guess we'll do this. We'll go ahead and do this. We'll, we'll say unhide the element. So we do that. And we'll do this. And when you do this, that's gone. And so what we want to do now is I want to see this. So I'll click on this. And uh, try to find the. Well, you know, there's a few ways you can do this. So we'll go here. I'll go and hide that element too. And this, so that's back. Then I'll also turn on the floor. I'm going to VV. I'll just turn on the floor. I turn off the floor. Okay, looks like that's on. So hit OK. All right. Uh, yeah. Okay, so that's good. So that floor actually would have been on the, the next level, I guess. So we'll go to floor two. I'll turn that back on. So. All right. Okay, so we're good to go there. Uh, we are good to go there. Okay, so we're here. So this is what we're drawing. Okay, so I went ahead and did that, and those are perfectly in place. So if I go to level one, it looks like that. So next thing we want here is back over to here. I'm going to go to floor one, and over here I've got this uh, window. This window is actually a slider with trim, 60 by 36. I'm going to go ahead and place that. So over here, and I want to place that. So over here, I'm going to go to window, and it's going to be slider with trim. So I'll click this drop down to see what we have available. Slider with trim, 36 by 48. Uh, did we say that? No, we said something different, didn't we? I think we said something different. So what did we say? We said slider with trim, 60 by 36. Slider with trim, 60 by 36. So we'll go back over here. Window slider with trim, 60 by 36. All right. And now I go here. And I want to place this pretty much right here. Now it's not liking this so much because it's trying to find the wrong location. I'll just go ahead and place it on the wall for right now. Let's go ahead and do that. Now at this point, let's say I click here and I go to the outside there. And I go ahead and click on the outside here. Now, that, now going, it's measuring outside to outside. And that distance needs to be uh, 12 foot six on each side. So I'll just do this one. I'll click on this one. Professor. Yes. Please, uh, my window or my door uh, don't come with tag. I, I I just saw your your window comes with tag. In in my case, I, I it doesn't have automatically. Yeah, when you put it in, make sure you have this on. If you have this turned on, it'll tag. It'll come in automatically when you when you turn it on. How can how can I let automatically like you are uh, uh well when you're okay when you, well typically when you come into it if you go to door you just gotta make sure that you have this this clicked on is there a way to add it after the fact yep after the fact what you do is you click on it right here well you go here to annotate and then you would use this you would use uh tag by cat tag uh tag by category and you go here and then you go ahead and you tag it that's all you have to do Okay. Would you mind redoing that? I'm sorry. Question? Was there a question? I didn't catch that. The tag. It doesn't show up for me also. I was wondering if you could redo it. Yeah, if you go to annotate, so you gotta go to the annotate tab. Are you there? Yep. What you do over here is you go to tag by category. Okay, yeah, because I had submitted mine because I forgot how to do that last time, but now I know how to do it, so. Yep, and then what you do here is you'd uncheck the leader, just so that it looks like mine does, you'd uncheck the leader. So you can also do it afterwards, but you know, so that's how you do that. Okay, does that help you guys? Yeah, that's what I was just trying to do, uh, uncheck the leader. How do you do that though? Okay, uh, what you would do is you just, you click on the check mark. <laughs> and uh, so right here, as I'm putting it in right here, you uncheck the leader. Oh, that part. Okay. I was looking on the actual leader. Thank you. Yep. That's all you got to do. And then over here, what do we got? Now, this is, okay, it's 12 feet six over there. Okay. 
And this should be 12 foot six on the other side, but it's not. Why is that not? Let's see, 12 foot six. And this should be 12 foot six on this side. All right, for some reason that is, no. oh, you know why? <laughs> it's not measured in the right place. So I gotta take this and I have to actually make it measure to here. So I gotta go in there for whatever reason, didn't find it. Come on, you. And I hit my tab key right now to find this. So for whatever reason, it's not finding the edge of the door. I don't know why it's not doing that. Oh, there it is. Found it. All right, so I had to dink around with that a little bit to make that work. So I click on this window right here. It's 12 foot six on both sides. You may have to fight it a little bit, but you know, once you got it on one side, you should be good. Now, at this point, I can click on this and uh, I've got my, uh, my uh, dimension and I go ahead and put the other dimensions in like this, uh, going from uh, this, oh, this side over, make sure I get the right side there over to there. That's five feet. Again, once you get, once you, once you kind of get it established, it goes pretty nicely. It does. And so you go here and I'm going to go over to here and boom, 12 foot six. There you go. So that's what you got right there. So 12 foot six, 12 foot six. And then is that supposed to be six feet? Let's see, 12 foot six. Let me read that. 12 foot six, 12 foot six. That's, that's right, that's correct. Okay, so that's how it should look. And that's what that's number one. You'll notice that it's got num the number one tag comes up. So, and that's gonna be different. The, the, now this one, look at this. Okay, you know what I did right here? I did the same thing. Because I mirrored my door, it didn't give it a tag. So I gotta, I gotta give this one a number. So I'll click there, because I didn't mirror the tag. So I go to annotate, and uh, I'm gonna tag my category, make sure that I have this unchecked. And I'll go ahead and touch this door and boom, there's number four. So that's how we go ahead and update that. So we're doing great. We're doing really good. If I take a look at it in 3D right now, we're looking at, ooh, look at that. That's looking good. Looking nice. So we got that looking great. So now we'll go back over to here and uh, now we're going to place, uh, that's all we have there. Now, the one thing we want to focus on now, now that we've done this, we see that that's all looking good. There's nothing over on this side. Uh, there is a floor. Okay. There's a floor right here. There's also these outlets. So I can place the outlets or place the floor. Either one's fine. And the floor right here, it's a generic floor. I'm just going to go ahead and place that right now. And so I'm going to place the generic floor over here. So to do that, uh, we've done this before, but you would go here to the architecture tab. You go to floor and uh, you would use generic floor, 12 inches. And I'm just going to do this. I'm going to go around, just make a rectangle. I'm going to go around the outside, the perimeter. So I want to go right from this outside here. We'll click on there. And we'll go right over to here. And we'll go ahead and do this like this, like that. So I'll do that. Hit the green check mark. There we have it. Let's take a look at it in 3D. And it looks like that right there. That is how we begin to place it. So now this is starting to, you know, really start to come together. You know, so we have this. It's all looking good. And now the next thing that I want to do is I would want to put in my outlets. Now the outlets, what I have here, I, I didn't measure them out. I just wanted you guys to place the same amount that I have in the approximate locations. So to place these, this is going to be something a little bit different. I'm going to save my work. Uh, what I want to do right here is I'm going to go and I'm going to go to systems. I'm going to go to systems up here. I can go to systems and I have these different items. And over here, I have a device and I've got an electrical fixture. And I think I've got right duplex receptacles right there. Now, this one's kind of a plain Jane right here, but we're just going to use it. We'll just put this GFCI. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it on the wall. Now, notice it gives me the universal not allowed symbol until I touch a wall. Once I touch a wall, it says, oh, yeah, go ahead, let it rip. So we have to place it here. Is that the right one? No, that's not the right one. Uh, that's not the right one. Uh, or is it? Let's see here. Place a vertical face. Uh, yeah, let's see here. Maybe it's this one. Let me try this one. Okay, yeah, I think we're good to go there. So let me take a look at that in 3D, make sure that, came out. yeah, yeah, that's what it looks like right there. That's, that's all it looks like right there. So yeah, that's the one. And uh, actually, I think, I think, yeah, it actually gives you that. So let me go back to here. I'll go ahead and use this. And I think that actually is a GFCI. So let me go back to the GFCI. I'll put that in again. And I'll use the G, I think this is actually okay. So I'll go ahead and drop it there. And I'll drop one here. Go ahead and do that. Now, when I do that, let me see if those are correct. Yeah, I think those are correct. So I'm going to take a look at it in 3D. When I do, it looks 
Oh, they went too high up the wall. So that's not the one I wanted because the, the one I wanted to lower. Okay, so, <laughs> all right, the ones I wanted, I, let me make sure I got this right. Let me go back over this and make sure I got the right ones. Because I, okay, so I got this. So what did I use? Outlet duplex, du, okay, outlet duplex single. That's what I used. Okay, so we'll use that. Sorry about that. So it's outlet duplex single. So I'll go to here and I'll go to my device. Outlet duplex single, make sure I got the right one. Yeah, there it is right there. So let's use this one. So go here and I'll go ahead. Yeah, there you go. There's the symbol. Symbol looks like that there. Yeah, that's what you want. And I'll go ahead and just go through here. And I'm placing these along the walls and uh, just to give myself some idea. And again, I'm just placing it approximately. They do not have to be exact. I just want to get the feel for actually placing these things in here. And that's it. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And I have eight in here too. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, so we're ready to go. So now let me take a look at it in 3D. And when you do that, there they are. Okay, there they are. That's what they should look like. So you got these outlets right there. And you can get more detailed elements, you know, if you want to, but for right now, that's all we're going to use. Okay, so that is how you'd actually get into systems. I just kind of wonder what your whistle for that. This is where you'd also get into doing piping or mechanical type stuff. This is where this will go. This is HVAC. This is how you begin to place all that. Again, it's beyond the scope of what we're doing right here to do that, but that's where we would go with this. That's where we go with that stuff. Okay, so that's what we have right there. So let's see here. I think we're good to go. And um, yeah, so we're good to go there. So that would be our first floor. It looks like that. It looks like that. I'm going to save it. And uh, next thing we're going to do that is we'll do the second floor. Now, the second floor uh, will simply, uh, actually, it's not, there's not really a second floor. What you do is you put on a roof, though. And when you put the roof on, we're then going to put a, we're going to put a floor in. I'll show you how this works. So I'm going to go here to level two. And when I go to level two, what I want to do here is I want to put on a roof. And we saw how to put on a roof before. You guys are going to probably anticipate me here because you're going to say, yeah, yeah, we're going to do this. So I'm going to go here to this, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to use uh, the one foot three inch overhang. I think is consistent, so I'll go ahead and do this, and it comes up with this right here, which is the pick wall. So I'm going to go here and pick a wall out here, and here, and here, and here, and then let's see here. And then what I want to do is I want to turn off. Um, so I hit the green check mark. It's going to give me that, and it says, "Would you like to attach the highlight walls to the roof?" I'm going to say don't attach because I want to show you something else here. But let me go back to 3D and see what it looks like. And right there, it looks like that, which is that kind of obnoxious roof that gives us a hip roof, which it's, it's I mean, they make roofs like that, but they're not as common as we might, as, as, as most roofs we might work with. So I'll go back over here and I'm going to level two. And I'm going to, I'm not seeing this. Where is that? I'm not seeing that. Okay. So let me go back to here. Why am I not seeing that? Why is it not showing that to me? Okay, because it's too high. I'm not sure why. Okay, well, it's okay. I can go to 3D. I can do it here too. So I'll click on this. And right here, I'd go to edit footprint. This is how I can actually edit the footprint for both my floors and my roofs. So I'll click on that. And I want to get rid of, uh, right here, I want to get rid of the slope on this side. So I'll click on this and uncheck define slope on this side. And I'll do the same thing here. I'll uncheck that. So when I do that, hit my green check mark. Okay, that looks pretty good. Now it looks like that. I'm just going to go ahead and rotate a little bit here. Now, a uh, big problem I have right now is these walls are not attached. Well, I can I can attach them by clicking on this wall, and then choosing up here, attach top, and it says what do you want to attach it to? Right there. So you do that. There it is. It looks great. It looks very nice. Okay. Now you'll notice that if you look closely, that this little notch didn't go up. So I can click on that wall and attach it here. I do this. There's actually another way to do this. I'm just doing it this way to kind of like, you know, to just to make a teachable moment right here. Cause you know, just so you guys understand what's happening right here to do this. So I've got that. And then you can see over here, I got some notch there and that one's not there. I don't want to make that one go. So I'll click on this one, attach and go there. So we do that. And we've got that. Now at this, this point, it looks like this rotated around looking pretty good there. Okay, that looks great. So I got that going on right there. So what I've got now is I got level one and I got level two. Looks like that. So level two right there. Now you'll notice that with level two right here, I've got this right here. Now let me let me ask you a question here. Why would I only have part of a wall here? Maybe that's the only part 
high enough to add any features to? Yeah, yes. Uh, what it is is because remember this part of the walls over here are shorter, the walls over here are taller. So what's happening is there's a cut line. And the cut line is going to basically cut the wall at a certain height. And that is what's happening right there. So what's happening right there is the reason we're only seeing part of the wall is because that's where the cut line is actually um, uh, sectioning it. So I've got this right here. So I can actually change this cut line. If I go here, I can go to the cut line right here, which is actually up here under my view range. So I go to view range. It tells you right here that the cut plane, watch what happens here, is present at four feet. And you may be bored by this, maybe not. Watch what happens when I make it seven feet. Hit my enter key, watch, watch the walls. They get smaller, okay, because the cut plane's higher up. It's higher up the peak. So therefore, the cut plane changed because now what's happened is I said, okay, I want you to, to change the cut plane. Now watch what happens if I make it lower. Make it two feet. And it makes it wider. So what's happening right there is that is how the cut plane works. Does this make sense? Does this make sense what's happening right here? Yeah. Okay. So that's why you're only seeing part of the wall. It's something that when I first did this, it kind of threw me for a loop, but it doesn't anymore. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in a floor. So on the floor for the second one, I'll go to floor right here. And I'm going to go to floor architectural. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my, I just need my rectangle, what the heck. Go from the outside. Can I do that? No, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to use this one. Let me see how this works. I'm going to go ahead and, get, go ahead and extend this into the wall and see how this works. Yeah, I'll just, I'm going to use this. It's a little better tool, I think, for this application. I'm going to go there. Oh, I want it. Originally, to join you, I'm going to cut the overlay line. Lines. What if, if I'm going to say no? All right, so I'm going to do that. So you say no at that, and when you click it and you say no, it does this. That's what it looks like. So we got that. Well, how do I know I've got my floor. Let's take a look. Let's see. How do we do that? Well, we can go here and turn on our section box, which is right. There's other ways. I'm just doing this just because it's the fastest way to do it. You click on that. You could also, if you wanted to, just click on an edge of it and you'll see through it, but it's usually easy to use a section box. So I go here and pull it back. Look at that. Now that's beautiful. All right. And you have all that beautiful extra storage space. Okay. So I'll go here and I want to change the floor because the floor needs to be wood. So I'm using right here, wood joist, 10 inch wood finish. So we're there, so we got that. And it looks like that right there, kind of nice. And when I go to level two, it looks like that, which is exactly what it should look like. So that is what we have there. Now, there is one other thing that I've got here. Okay, let me ask you a question, kind of obvious. Let me ask you a question. Um, what is missing here? Well, there's a lot of- uh, Stairs up to the attic. Yeah, the stairs are being added to pull down stairs, okay? And the pull down stairs are actually something I looked around for and on the on the internet, on the internet, on information superhighway. Uh, anyway, anyway um, so um, I, I went ahead and I looked around and I found, because um, you can look around for stuff. And uh, so what I did is I looked around and I found it. And when I found it, uh, I was actually like, whoa, that's exactly what I need. So let me just kind of share what I have down here. It's down here, under here, under uh, generic models, under generic models, it's under here. That's where it loaded it. And you have this right here. You've got this uh, attic access. And I'll go ahead and show you the one that I picked. So I'll go here to floor one. I'll go ahead and pick on uh, this. And I'll go over here. I'm going to go ahead and click on this. And this is actually right here. It's attic stairs, Facro. That's the manufacturer. 22 by 47, okay? And the ceiling height's eight foot three is what I did. So attic stairs, stack row, 22 by 47. So let me go find that. Okay, attic stairs, stack row, 22 by 47. Go ahead and grab this. Let's grab this in. There you have it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna rotate, it won't let me rotate them. Uh, so it's not letting me do that. Okay, so that's fine. I'll just go ahead and drop it. And once I drop it, it does this kind of thing. And then I'm going to do, I'm going to take it and I'm going to I've got to select it. All right, so I have to my tab key. Yeah, okay, so now let me do that. Okay, I think I've got to, I've, I think I have to rotate it on the, on the first floor. So I'm going to here. Yeah, I've got this right here. So I'll click on this. Okay, I've got to rotate it here. So then if I hit my space bar, yeah, space bar, we rotate it. And you can place it just by sight right here. I'm just going to place it somewhere around here. You want to kind of place it close to there. You want to definitely place it so that, you know, it actually gives you some room once you get in the second 
get on the second floor. So you got it right there. That's pretty good right there. And that will work. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna basically grade you up or down because of that. And then you can take a look at it. Kind of cool, huh? So that's what you got going on. So you actually climb up there, go up there. And that's actually a simpler way to do this. So what you've got here is a simple custom garage. We're actually able to go in there and, uh, you know, go ahead and make that work right there. So that's what you have happening. Okay, so that is what we have going on right there. And uh, that's what we want to accomplish. So we got that. I'm going to undo this the second box, do that. Okay, so we've got that. Okay, now let's see here. Now, I, up here on the second floor, um, one thing about this, I uh, don't know if you noticed it, but on the second floor, there's actually something else on this one. And there's actually another window here. So the window here is here. It's actually double hung with trim 36 by 48. So I have to put that in. So over here, 36 by 48 is going to be centered. So I want to go to my window and we'll go here. And that's going to be double hung with trim 36 by 48. I'll go ahead and take it here. And you'll notice what it's trying to do here. It's trying to center it. Okay. So I'm just going to kind of take this and see if it'll let me kind of do this. So you kind of pull it down until they're equal. And see, it says 10 foot, 10 and a half, right? 10, 10 foot and a half inch in the side. That's centered. Okay. I go ahead and click. Boom. Does it for you. It wants to do it. It wants to find the center, the, the equal points. And when you have that, there you have it. That is the custom garage. Pretty impressive for fairly limited work right there is what we have right there. And let's see here. Then there's just a couple of notes here. And uh, I've got actually a note here that says attic stairs. So I'll put that in. So that is over here on, uh, let's see here. This is on floor two. Okay, it says attic stairs. So I'm gonna put a note in there that says that. So this is three eighths. Let's make sure I got that. So level two. Okay, so it's three eighths. Okay, so I'm just gonna put in a note. So I'll put in a note. This is how you put in notes. Uh, I go over here and I go to the annotate tab and I could go here to text. And when I click on text right here, I then can put in this with a leader. Okay, this is just plain text. So if I click here, I go ahead and just put in P-L-A-I-N text like that. And that's fine. Okay, no problem there, but there's no arrow on it. Okay, so I could do two, I, but if I use an arrow, I click here. I go ahead and pick attic stairs, click here and go over and I type in attic stairs. Adam, attic stairs like that. So I click on attic stairs. At that point, it looks like this. Now the size of it, I think I need to change it to be quarter inch. Yeah, quarter inch looks better. So it's attic stairs that way. And then this plain text, if you put this in, you can select this and then you can use this handy dandy tool here where you go here and you can actually put in, you know, an arrow like this and kind of move around like that. So you can do that. Or you could actually go here and you could actually, um, yes, you got that. And if I back out of there, but when you click right on it, you could also add a curved arrow, which is kind of cool. So let's say you want to kind of zoom up, do kind of a curvy look. Like that. Go here. And some people definitely have a preference for the uh, for the spline. Any any people like the spline better than the than the straight? I mean, it depends. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it's uh, not not necessarily uh, okay, not necessarily a complete and utter uh, uh, you know wow either way. Okay, so go ahead and pull that up there. Attic stairs are there. Um, let's see here. Uh, <coughs> that's the first, okay, so I have to put that same notation on the first floor. So the floor one, uh, level one. I'm gonna go here and put in the same notation. It says attic stairs. So I'll do that. Go to my text. Grab this, make a quarter inch, and uh, do the same thing. Make it say attic stairs. Point to this, pull it off, and down here, over there, and attic stairs. Like that. Do you have any troubleshooting tips for the attic stairs? I have it pulled open, but it won't let me place it. Uh, are you trying to place it on level two or level one? Both. I tried either one. It what's it, it's just saying it won't do it. It's not saying anything, so I must not be doing something right. Did you put your floors in? Yeah. Uh hmm. I'm not sure. Make sure you don't have a command running and try it again. You should be able to just take it and drag it on. Should okay. no. Been using this for a few semesters, so uh anyway, it should be working. And at that point, we now have a pretty good jump on this. Now, one thing I'm going to show you right now, which is actually kind of cool here, if I take away my elevations now, you'll see that 
Well, look at that. My elevation is already populated. Okay. Why is that? Well, it's because your teacher gave you uh, gave you a guide to success. <laughs> I gave you a template. Made life, makes life a lot easier for you. So your your elevations will already be populated as you go through here. So uh, that's something that you will see as you work on this. All right. So that is. I'm going to park right there. I'm going to stop right there. That's going to be enough for tonight and we will do more but at that point this is what we have and this is how we could actually begin to work on stuff so i'm going to park it right there we're going to stop and i'm going to give you guys a chance to work on this now so this is something you can work on now and uh and if you do have individual questions you can ha actually have those but now it's lab time so i'm going to stop the record now before i stop are there any other questions beside that individual issue that uh that uh some of you may, like that k is having right there any other questions you did the 12 inch concrete floor yeah. right floor just is, generic it's a 12 inch generic right there yeah okay, so got okay. that and then for the other one um it's like for the uh floor level two this one is actually the uh floor wood joist 10 inch right there okay that's what i did yeah, so as far as putting in the stairs, again, what you do is under Jared Models, you want to make sure you use Attic Stairs Factor LMS 22 by 47, and you just click and drag it over in, and it should show up like that. When you drop it, you might, uh, you, it should drop, it should drop in. And if it doesn't, I don't know what to say, because <laughs> it should. And uh, something else is going on if it doesn't like that. So. Um, yeah, so go ahead and save your work. I'm going to go ahead and do this. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to stop the uh, stop the movie here, and uh, we will uh, go ahead and from there. And the movie should be running. Where's the movie? Yeah, there it is. Okay, so over here, I'm going to stop. Oh, I just stopped the share. I didn't want to do that, so I'll share my screen back to here, and I'll share that. Good. And what I do want to do is I want to go here and I want to 